Thank you for using Drive Savers for your data recovery needs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore your data from a successful, full structured recovery on a Macintosh. In a previous video, I showed you how to copy your data to your computer. And so here we have the folder that we copied to the computer on your desktop. So we're going to open that folder. A structured recovery means that we got back all of your folder names and file names in the original structure of the drive. And it would look like this. You would have your folder with your job number, then you would have Macintosh HD, users, your username, and then your user folders, desktop documents, downloads. You may have many other folders in here if you stored stuff in there, but these are the main root folders that would come by default with the computer. So what we're going to do is now open up a second window, go to File, New Finder Window, and this will open up a second Finder window. We will position this in the bottom of your screen, and this will be your computer's hard drive. So in your recovery folder at the top, we have it opened up to your user folder. In the bottom window, we click on the user folder in the left column, and we see the equivalent folders that are on your computer. So now we just click on desktop for the top, click on desktop on the bottom, and here we can just highlight all the files we want to move and drag them into the desktop folder. You'll notice that we are in column view. By clicking on the first folder, the contents of that folder are in the second pane over, and that's where we'll be dragging our files. So we would do the same thing for documents. Click on the Documents folder, highlight all the files, and drag them into the second pane. And we can do that for pretty much every folder. In the library, most of this we don't need to copy over. We'll go over some of the items that are in there in a moment. The movies, you could just copy those over. In the music folder, you will have an iTunes library. You can refer back to our wiki page for the other video on how to restore your iTunes library back to your computer. In the pictures folder, you will also have most likely an iPhoto or a photos library. Again, please revisit our wiki page for the video on restoring your iPhoto or photos libraries to your computer. But in this folder, you may also have other pictures, and you would do the same process of highlighting those and dragging them into the lower screen. Back to the library folder, the main things you would need out of here would be your contacts, email, Safari bookmarks. I have instructions for those on our wiki page for those individual things, but most of these items are now being synchronized with your iCloud account, and most of them would restore that way. But if you do need to restore some of those, please refer to our wiki page and we will have instructions on how to restore those things. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful. If you still have some questions, you can visit our wiki page at wiki.drivesaversdatarecovery.com. On there, you'll find more information about restoring data to your computer. And if you still have some questions, please give us a call at 800-609-2301.